Welcome to our series of videos dedicated to automating the Tracer VMS video surveillance system. Automation allows you to configure the execution of any action without user intervention. For example, by setting a rule to perform an action in response to an event, or by setting up a script that includes several rules. In this video we'll look at setting up schedules. First, let's go to the Automation tab of the Server Settings menu and create a new schedule by clicking on the corresponding option. Let's take a look at its settings. You can enter the schedule name at the top. We recommend entering a meaningful name, as this can simplify your work later if you need to make different schedules for various tasks. Just below is a graph with the days of the week and the time in 24-hour format. You can edit it by shading it with different colors. There are three color options, red, blue and green. In order to shade a certain zone, point the mouse at the beginning of the zone, for example, Tuesday at 5 a.m., then click and hold down the left mouse button and select the area. After highlighting, click on the color you want to shade it with. When selected, areas are aligned to 30-minute boundaries. If this is not required, you can uncheck the box under the chart. You can also edit zones on a minute-by-minute -minute basis during creation by specifying the start and end times. After setup, don't forget to check the Enable Schedule box to activate it. Let's look at some examples of use. Some scripts and rules can run on a schedule. For example, if you want the script to work from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays, you need to select the area, shade it with a color, and now in the script settings you can select this schedule and the color at which the script will start working. Please note that the alarm monitor and auto universal scripts work in the red zone of the schedule. You can also use the schedule to regulate archive recording on the cameras. You can create a schedule for a specific group of cameras. To do this, you must check the camera recording mode control checkbox. After checking the box, the color selection button will have a different name. Now the color red will indicate when recording is not needed. Blue indicates continuous camera recording, and green indicates recording by detector. In this way you can configure camera recording schedules by day of the week and time. Below you will find a list of channels connected to the server. This is where you must select the cameras that will work according to the new schedule. After activating the schedule, the channel settings will show that recording is taking place according to the schedule. Here you will also see which schedule is active at the current moment. And that's all. Instructions on schedule configuration can be found in the description of the video. In the following videos we'll talk about other automation options. See you next time.